hello and welcome to our update for the start of April 2018 and I thought I'd just start by the bed I've just finished digging um, we were originally aiming this bed for fragrant varieties but I think it's going to possibly be a few more that are sun tolerant because it is quite exposed but, uh, and there's our little um, everybody thought was an Acer but it's indeed a copper beach that used to follow us around the shows year on year and it's now in this bed so I want to put something that's going to sort of complement that underneath it and looking over to beyond where the original beds were that I dug is the start of my rubber rockery they were just stacks of tyres I seem to recall last month and I've now kind of put them out how I want them to be and they're just ready to backfill with some soil <clears throat> and then I can get them planted up. It'd be interesting to see how that turns out. I'm quite positive about how it might work. So, um, and it's always nice to have a bit of structure and form in a new garden. We've got the trees, but uh, we need to start defining things a little bit. I love the view as you walk, look through here and you see the willow at the end. That's where I'd like to dig a lovely deep pond and perhaps a network of, I think they, I can't remember the term that they call them, ephemeral ponds and ditches because they, they just last as long as you've got the water to fill them and ultimately they dry out during the summer and then fill up again in the winter. But anyhow, that's my wavy tyre, rubber rockery, with my tractor tiles, good use for them but I can quite imagine them planted up and looking fantastic. You probably won't be able to see the rubber after a few years. And if I pan around, you can probably hear them at work. Robin and David completing the tunnel ready for the plants to be transferred to. It's coming on well. But this is a brief snapshot because I've got to get back to work. There's so much to do, not enough time. And there we go, another view looking back. So things are starting to move, starting to bud and pop out and before much longer the plants will emerge. I've got an awful lot of shoots ready to break the soil but uh, as it's still quite chilly they're sensibly taking their time. And that's it for now. Speak soon. Bye.